Good morning, good morning. You're all teachers, you know how this works. So welcome to our teachers conference. I'm Lars Biltson, the director here, and it's a real pleasure to have you all with us today and to see many of you uh, yesterday evening at the reception we had at the South Coast Inn. Um, I always ask the same question before every event, which is for how many of you is this morning your first time in Cone Hall? Raise your hand high. Okay, great. So it's about, it's about half, which is great. That's what we see. Uh, we have about 1,000 visitors a year, physicists who come here, and it's about half of them. It's their first time. Uh, and our visitors to the Institute come from all over the world. It's about half outside the U.S. And, uh, these days, thankfully. We're able to maintain that in the face of visa challenges, but uh, it works pretty well. Uh, and many of you are, probably are well familiar with what we do, which are long programs of physicists who come here to collaborate, to form new collaborations, <laughs> to work together, to argue, to argue, and to work at the blackboard, and to drink coffee. Um, and we take advantage of having these visitors here to provide events like this for you, which is we ask a few of them to stay an extra day. We just had a big conference that ended yesterday with about 140 people here. And we ask them to, to share with you the excitement of what's happening. And every year it's something different. And so what I'd like to do at the beginning first is to, is to ask for somebody to, who's a new person to shout out how they find, found out about the opportunity to come here. And I want to hear it from somebody new. Please. Okay, so somebody gave up their slot for you. <laughs> okay, that's, that's not that's a, a different a different one. Yes, please. Email from us. What, how did we do that? Hang on. Where's Maggie? <laughs> where's Maggie? Where's Maggie? Maggie, which email? I don't know. Do you know what list it came from? Okay. So Maggie Sheriffs is our staff member who uh, works to make this happen with us, and so she's listening. Because we're, we're always struggling to figure out the best way to reach out. Um, so this is why I wanted to have an open discussion, too, so others can hear. So, uh, so email from us that's a mystery. Good. Please. Okay, through your son, the physicist. Okay, not everybody has that option. Okay, these are, give me something other than a corner case. Okay, please. I heard a flyer from a colleague. A flyer that was emailed around. A flyer, okay. Hang on. The, Please. There's an even better one, even better story. Please. There you go. Okay, a poster. Have anybody seen one of those recently? <laughs> so, we, uh, so we have a survey at the end, so we'll get more details from you, but it is important for us to, to try to ensure that we're reaching uh, new communities of phys physics teachers every year. We would like it to be that sort of half of you are, are new, and of course we welcome people to come back. And I know for many of you, you've been here many times, so I'm going to hazard the inverse problem. How many of you have been here eight times or more? Mm. Yeah, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, it is time to find a younger colleague and tell them about it. <laughs> okay, we, I wasn't going to ask for 20. Yeah. Yeah, this is the 20th. Okay, and we have, I and mean, you've been to all 20? Uh, all of them except when I was on the dark side. I was an administrator. Ah, he became an administrator. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you think this is our 20th? Well, it's 1999. It was the first time. Okay, there you go. We skipped a few. Okay. Great. So welcome back. <laughs> Find a young colleague. <laughs> Encourage them to come. Okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to announce is our next one, uh, which we have a program that's triggered by astronomical data on objects called white dwarfs, dense remnants of stars that weigh the mass of the sun but have the radius of the Earth, so they have a mean density of about a million times that of water, so we call them white dwarfs. And we have a whole program studying them because of recent data from the Gaia satellite and because of new kinds of supernovae that have been found. So that program will be having a conference and associated with that conference, we'll have a teacher's conference. So that will be on April 2nd, not April Fool's Day, April 2nd. Um, and so again, please, please, sorry, 2021. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we do it once a year. Uh, okay, 
So with no further ado, what I want to do is, is hand the microphone over to Veronica. Veronica Hubini has been uh, leading the effort to pull this whole thing together. So I want to start by thanking Veronica right now for all of her hard work at getting these great speakers. <laughs> then also briefly, I just want to introduce our staff in case you have any, any needs. So Claudia, who's our fantastic conference coordinator, is here. Thank you, Claudia. Craig, who's going to keep everything running on the IT side. Now, if you've been here 20 years, you know that this is the same Wi-Fi password. Uh, we are going to change it. We've decided to do something radical. Because uh, apparently it got published online or something. But I mean, I think only 100,000 physicists know about it. And again, let's give Maggie a round of applause for her efforts. OK, Veronica. Thank you, Lars. OK, well, welcome, all of you. Um, this is the first time I have done any, anything like this. So <laughs> you're all much more experts. Um, so let me start by, by just saying a word of uh, gratitude to our four speakers today. As, 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 as Lars told you, we have had a very exciting and intense five-day conference, which probably was also pretty exhausting. So I'm very happy that our speakers um, chose to say that are happy to stay one more day and share the various morals of what we're learning with you uh, today. So um, I could, I mean, these four professors are, you know, leaders of our, our, our field, and uh, I could spend many minutes telling you their various distinctions, but I decided to use the time better by letting them tell you all the fun stuff that, that we're learning. But let me just, before we get started, let me just make a, a few remarks, three remarks. Um, let me sort of anchor myself to the, to the conference logo that maybe anyway needs a little bit of explaining. So the first remark is that this is uh, the theme of the teacher's conference is tied to the theme of the, of the ongoing program, three months uh, KITP program that's uh, precisely uh, sort of tailored on the, on the theme of how does space and time emerge from something more fundamental, which might be sort of entanglement. And so all these words will get um, explained in the course of the day. So the bottom part of this logo was just taken from the logo of the conference. Now, what is that logo? Well, it's some uh, mysterious looking stuff, which was supposed to indicate sort of the notion of interconnectivity of physics. At the center somewhere there was a black hole, and it turns out that black holes, although they are, sound like very esoteric objects, actually are uh, very uh, mysteriously and intrinsically connected to almost everyday world phenomena, and in fact, I think the most fascinating, to me, the most fascinating thing about physics is this, what you might think of as unreasonable interconnectivity. <laughs> Subjects that were, you know, taught and studied in different classes, sometimes in different departments, seem to be coming together in some marvelous edifice that we're still only seeing glimpses of. We're all convinced that it's there because too many things are working too beautifully for you know, there to not be a structure. And we see lots of parts of the structure and can describe it by different mathematical languages. But we still don't have the full picture. So we're all still in sort of a state of perplex, perplexion or confusion about what's really going on, which is what makes it very exciting um, as well. So a notion of this uh, a duality that's supposed to describe the same physics from different, in different languages is something that sort of underlies this, this interconnectivity and that's something that you'll hear um, in, the, in the four talks. So although the titles all sound uh, pretty disparate, there's a storyline that in fact, so, so we, will, we will start with, with John Preskill t telling us about what is this entanglement that I mentioned, and Matt Hedrick will tell us what does it have to do with space-time and, and gravity, and then Brian Swingle will tell us some cool properties of it, and then we'll 
wrap up with Roberto and Baran, who will tell us more about how this space-time behaves. So it will, be, it will be a story that comes from very different aspects, describing parts of the same thing. Now, uh, of course, most of this stuff will probably be unfamiliar to you, and this leads me to the third remark. You should, well, in the logo, there were two people looking at this, at this thing and trying to make sense of it, one thinking in terms of black holes, one in terms of strings. But the language is sort of might be unfamiliar, and you should not feel shy, or you should feel encouraged if you see you know, a term or a symbol or piece of argument that doesn't make sense to you, you should definitely ask. So we're hoping that you'll, we'll, we'll have lots of interaction in the course of the talk, already before the discussion session. There are many you know, words that we use in everyday, you know, everyday life many times that we forget that are part of a jargon that, that maybe some of you are not using. So that, that's just to uh, encourage you to, to really interact and, and enjoy. Okay, so with that, uh, let me give the floor over to John Preskill from Caltech, who will tell us about entanglement and explain it. Thank you.